What's up everyone? Coming to you with another knife comparison and this time it's between the Sheffield Gunnison and the VTech Titan. I believe this is the Titan X2. So pretty obvious reason why I'm comparing these two knives. They look nearly identical and I'm pretty certain that they are from the exact same factory just from different times because the VTech Titan was a knife that you could have gotten very easily around 10 years or so, while the Sheffield Gunnison was available more recently. And I'm pretty sure both of these are now discontinued, but if you look around on eBay, you are still able to find them. Uh, Nut and Fancy definitely did a, uh, is the reason why people may know about this one whenever he did a tabletop review over the VTech Titan. And I know a lot of folks were trying to find one, which is what led me to find the Sheffield Gunnison and review that for everyone, as well as we all juggle knives. He did a video on it as well, so I figured I own both. Why not do a head-to-head -head direct comparison between these two knives and determine which one truly is the better blade? So in terms of design, I mean, there's really no difference. I happen to have the partially serrated VTEC, but they both came in plain edge and combo edge, and the overall design cues are identical. Like, I could take the blade out of one and put it into the shell of the other. It, it is... It is that identical between these two knives. Yes, I have tested it. It does work. <laughs> so, I like these things almost certainly were made in the exact same facility. Build quality as a result feels identical between the two knives. Really what we're going to be coming down to are the tiny differences between the two to help you decide which one is the better choice. And the main difference is going to be on our blade steel. On the VTech, we're rocking a 440C. While on the Sheffield, we're working with a 440A. Now, anyone who knows knives, even a little bit, will know 440C is a massive step up over 440A. Uh, I have found Sheffield's 440A to be very serviceable for EDC, but I'd be lying if I didn't say the VTech 440C did not perform it in literally every category. So you may be thinking, well, if it has the better blade steel and everything else is nearly identical, that automatically makes the VTech the winner, right? Well, maybe, but maybe not. Because I've been adamant in saying that 440A is extremely serviceable for the average person's everyday cutting tasks. I hear people say all the time, well, I need a, a better blade steel because I'm using my knife super hardcore and I'm a contractor and stop. Just stop, dude. Because re the reality is, if you're a contractor, you're not using your folding knife or your pocket knife for anything. You're using utility blades. If you're cutting carpet, you're using razor blades. Okay, if you're cutting drywall, you're using razor blades. If you're using your folding knife in that an application, quite frankly, you're an idiot. <laughs> an everyday carry knife's realistic purpose is going to be for daily cutting chores. You know, slicing up your steak at the restaurant, opening up that package you got from Amazon or Blade HQ, you know, cutting a string off your jeans, stuff like that. Very light cutting chores are what the overwhelming majority of people are going to realistically put their everyday carry knife into. And in that regard, 440A works perfectly fine. So while 440C is a better steal, I don't think the average user is going to be able to identify that big of a difference between the two. Especially whenever we consider that 440C, while it's easy to sharpen, 440A is even easier to sharpen. So for those who aren't super experienced with knives, they're going to have an easier time putting an edge back on this than they are on this. So maybe for them, the 440A is the better choice. So it's not all about which one has the better edge retention. It's not what determines a knife being better or worse by default. Beyond that, let's look at the handles. The VTech has a textured aluminum handle, while the Sheffield has this flat gray. In my opinion, this flat gray is much more handsome than this diamond texture patterned black version. So, you know, if, you, if aesthetics are a thing you care about, maybe you prefer the way this looks, especially when we have this... Uh, this coated blade here, this titanium coated blade, you may look at both and say, ah, I'm not a big fan of the all black. I kind of prefer this. This is a little more elegant, a little more sleek. And in my opinion, you'd probably be right. I think this is the more handsome knife than this. 
In ergonomics, they're identical. The jumping, identical. The pocket clips are identical. The thumb studs are identical. Same rounding on the back of the blade. Same liner lock. Same washers. Same flow-through pillar design. They really are near identical in every way. What it really comes down to is what matters more to you. The attractive look of the Sheffield or the better edge retention on the VTEC. That's right, this is one of, my, one of my quickest knife comparisons ever because it really is that simple between these two knives. Everything else is absolutely identical between the two of them. If you need to see the tech specs, I do have a review on the Sheffield Gunnison and on the VTEC Titan. You're welcome to go and check those out for any technical details. This is just kind of a quick head-to-head -head comparison between the two to let you guys know which one is the better knife. It really comes down to preference, and if you want a VTEC Titan but just can't find one, the Sheffield Gunnison is near identical, and I would definitely recommend it in place of a VTEC. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace, and take care.